Welcome everyone, this is Dragon in White and we are back with another FF14, Final Fantasy 14. And for those of you who are watching on YouTube, you have been noticing that for the past one month or so, maybe almost two months, uh, it's been Final Fantasy 14 every day. I am thinking of changing this up. Not sure when this will be implemented, but there are some of the series which I haven't finished yet, and I'm probably looking into finishing them. Uh, pro probably not on stream. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, that's some of the plans that we have. So meanwhile, for today, uh, in between, I did a bit of grinding in dungeons to get more ventures and guilds and things like that. So. As a quick update, this is what I have um, on level now. This and this, yeah. So everything is level 30. I think I should pick up more uh, of this so that I can spread out the spread out the load a little. Because I'm kind of leveling a little too fast for the story. So for today, one of the things I want to focus on is the main story quest. So uh, for this episode, this will be a main story episode. And also for the stream, which I'll probably do for about 2 hours or so. Um, the plan is to... Sorry about that. The plan is to also do some of the class quests because, you know, my classes are quite high level and um, it is about time I kind of level them up. As in classes-wise. Okay, and I always forget that I can skip the cutscene. Okay. Uh, I never really liked Gridania's airship, um, airport, air landing, whatever this thing is called again. Oh, I have this thing here. Curious, level 20. Okay, I will deal with that in another time. I'm guessing that's for scenery. Uh, for now, let's see. Uh, I want to go to here, this one. As you can see, plenty of money now, so I can afford to teleport around. Uh, the grinding on dungeons helped quite a lot. Mostly to get ventures, uh, well, company sales to buy ventures, that is. Uh, but the other effects include getting access to money, well, guilds, and levels. Although I'll consider, like level, uh, I'll consider levels to be more of a side effect rather than an intended effect. Oh well. So. Let's see. Gotta travel a bit. From what I hear, I don't know how true this is, but I was told I'm actually approaching the end of the uh, A Realms Reborn. I'm approaching the ends of the A Realms Reborn storyline and about to move on to the next after this. So we'll, f we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's that. Level thing. Should I do this? Uh, nah, waste of time. Ida. Say, Dragon, are you in the mood for dancing? That's right, dancing. You went through all that trouble to learn the Sylph traditional greeting, but you're hardly, you're, you greeted hardly any of them. Why, if I were a Sylph, I'd be beside myself with delight to see an adventurer expressing an intent in my culture. Me? Of course I'll be happy to join. Ow, ow, there goes those leg cramps of mine acting up again. Okay, so what do I do to dance? Okay. This is where the keyboard is convenient rather than having to dig out the emotes. Ooh, walking one knows jolly dance. Jolly dance with this one with good cheer. Let these two be friends. Yes. 
นาเตาไมเวย Walking one is a friend to this one's friendly, like gracious elder one of Forest City, knows how to dance into this one's heart. Ah, the response is oddly suspicious, compared to the initial one. Walking one would be friends to this one's. This one is overjoyed, but this one keeps the way of weaving a secret. Even if Walking One learned the secret, Walking One could not weave in the same way. Okay, so there's a special dance or something. Hang on, there we go. Okay, so now back to doing this. Dragon, would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all of Little Solus. The better news, why I have thoroughly recovered from those accursed leg cramps. Onward to our next adventure. She just didn't want to do it. Hmm, what's next? Where is next? Oh, back to okay, properly. Too tiny, couldn't see him. <laughs> Dragon, as an adventurer, you're no stranger to helping distressed folks, I wager. Tales of good deeds are quick to spread. The adventurer who comes to the aid of local populace can go from stranger to hero overnight. No doubt you'll see what I'm getting at. The sylphs who make their home in Little Slowless, so having driven from their woodland home, surely they have their fair share of troubles. Seek out our troubled sylph, seek out troubled sylph, and see what might be done to ease their worry. A sound plan, will you not say? That said, the sylphs are not known to share their worries with outsiders. You would be better off inquiring with Hera Emedia, of the Gridanians who reside here. She is the most like to be privy to the sylph trouble. Oh, and if any of you are online on the stream, feel free to chat. It, you know. Praise be to the elementals. I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart. The sylph of Little Solus are sorely in need of aid. Pray, hear me out. Being a temporary settlement, Little Solus wants for amenities, not least a stout set of defenses. Consequently, beasts from mounds around are free to wander in and terrorize the hapless residents. The zig goblins and gaunards that roam these parts are especially troublesome, but slaying each one would serve as a warning to the rest. Furthermore, perhaps you could gather three brownie brushes as well. They play an important role in sylphic culture. I do not claim to know the details, and what with such feral beasts prowling the forest, they are not easy to come by. They they are not easily come by. When you are done with the deeds, seek out Kumukseo. He is slow to warm to outsiders, but your good intentions will not be lost on him. My own experience speaks to this. Okay, slay things and obtain things. Oh. Okay, that's closer than I thought. Should be easy given my level. Play a big calling. Okay. Brown push. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, 
cool. Then take out one of these bugs. And we are good. Alright, now a quick flyback. As quick as you can go at least. And I'm going to take a sip of coffee while controlling the movement with one hand. Hmm. Coffee is great. Coffee is life. Okay, Kumuk Seal. Dancing one is still here. Dancing one can dance all day, but this one's trust is not so easily earned. Hmm. Dancing one brings brownie brush for this one. This one can die tread once more. This one is please. Dancing one kills bitey buzzy one. This one hates, hates, hates bitey buzzy ones. Dancing one is kind, too kind. Many walking one comes to this one's abode, but few are friendly like dancing one. Perhaps this one was wrong not to trust dancing one after all. This one asks dancing one for forgiveness. This one have many trouble. Since walking one last come to our abode, this one must be careful. Always careful. But dancing one is not like other walking ones. This one can trust dancing one. This one would ask dancing one for help. Strange walking one with bodies of steel comes to the home of this one. This one thinks steel one comes from empire. Where empire go, many living ones become dead ones. Trees fall and bushes burn. This one's home is in danger. Danger! This one begs of dancing one to help this one no more. Dancing one is friends with this one and walking one, yes? Dancing one must speak to this one here and walking ones in hut house and find out more. This one has bad feeling. This one fears still ones are after something, but this one should speak no more. Go, dancing one. This one depends on kindness of dancing one. Well, speak to people and kill some stuff, hopefully. Investigate the suspicious presence. Strange stew walking ones? Yes, this one has sins. Strange walking one carry big boxes. Maybe walking ones hunt for shiny treasure. This one likes treasure. Okay, treasure. So, let's see. I think I should go up and speak to this one here. This feels like the right place to go to. Yeah. Shush, shush, this one say. Still walking ones are scary, like touched ones. This one hates scary and scary ones have scary friends. Hmm, feels like they are walking in meccas of thoughts. Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, look at what's carrying me now. Like, this, like one of them. Sort of. I wonder how much faster I am moving when mounted. Oh, back to the city here, huh? Should have known. Men clad in strange armor. Why, now, you, now that you mention it, I did see some suspicious types of late. They were gathering deep in the forest. I simply assumed they were adventurous. Mm, inside the house, I assume. Oh yeah, this fella. Oh, that's another person I want to speak to. Okay. 
Fearsome types clad head to toe in steel, you say? Imperial soldiers, no doubt. I couldn't tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it's nothing good. And I have to go back to Compass Hill. Wow, man, this is irritating. Some of these walking quests are just plain irritating because, you know, you gotta walk back and forth just to speak to one or two people. This one is happy to see Dancing One return. What did Dancing One learn? This one C. Still walking one comes from Empire. Carry boxes and go walking deep deep through for to trees. As this one thought, still walking ones are up to nasty no good things. This one knows forest well. Still walking ones try to hide, but this one will find them. This one will borrow Dancing One's map. This one makes mark right here. This is where Steel Ones hide. This one knows. Dancing One will go looking for Steel Ones, yes? Oh yeah, go cool. fight. Come on, where's my mark? Give me a mark. Those are not the marks. Okay, the red. Oh, okay, that's what it is, okay. If only I could... If only, like, uh, the mount summon thing doesn't get affected by movement. Hmm... Suspicious box. a mistake. Should not have done that. I thought the AOE was a good idea. Turns out no. Attracted the wrong attention. Deliver quartermaster's locks to Kumuk Ah, uh, you know what? Dancing One is back. This one brief sighs of relief. This one was worried. Hmm. Dancing One found something. Dancing One found paper inside of box. This is a message from Empire. This one can read Walking One symbols. Message paper has names of food and rocks. Food and rocks were inside boxes. This one knows. But this one does not understand. Food and rocks mentioned all come from the homes of this one. How do rock still walking ones know to find them. Is there sneaking one hiding behind this one's wings? Snooping one selling secrets to still walking ones? This one fears for one's home. But dancing one has helped this one much today. Dancing one must promise to always be friends to this one. Okay, sure. I'll take the high potion. Oh, come on. Give me. Give me, give me. Helpful one arrives at a good time. This one needs helpful one's help. One of this one named Kexio ventured outside of Little Solar Saloon. 
Alone is unsafe. Helpful one must find Kelsil. Kelsil. Kelsil struck west of the living settlement. Hurry up before Kelsil ends up in belly of beastly one. Okay, cutscene just for that. I got a feeling there's gonna be a secret behind this. Like Kelsil being a spy. Oh, he's trapped over here, huh? Okay. What? Walking one wants this one to return to Little Solace? Don't make this one laugh. This one is wary of living with those who are not this ones. This one wants to be alone. This ones rely on walking ones for everything. No better than those ones that summon a primal one. Small wonder this one chose to live. This one thought this a likely place to build a home. But then Madeline One arrives, forces this one to go deeper into the forest. Madeline One is forbidden from following this one. Away with Madeline One. Okay. So, the rest wants to summon the primal. Interesting. What? Kelsio refused to return to this ones and went deeper into the forest? But this one saw touched ones looking in the forest. Helpful one must hurry. Hurry and find Kelsio. Helpful one should search for spools of threads on the forest floor. These things, those things will help, will lead helpful one to Kelsio. But hurry, hurry before touch one takes Kelsio away. I see a thread there. Hmm. I wonder if those are there on just for this quest or are they always there? Ooh, it's a duty. Good. Level 26, that means I'm actually catching up a little. Meddling One is back. This one told Meddling One to be gone. Tell Kumukseo that this one will never go back. Never. Why though? Touch ones? Touch ones should go away too. This one is good one. Everyone should just leave this one alone. Be on guard, dragon. This sylph has been tempered, brought under the trial of Primal Ramu. Akin to the Amalja tempered by Ifrit, this sylph exists only to search the deity. They will not answer to words, only still. I take no pleasure in this, but it must be done. I haven't learned my lesson, have I? Worth doing this one though, I wonder. 28. Well, I suppose it's worth if there is at least two.
Well, my phone keeps going off today for some reason. Why this still is very tanky somehow? Okay, now do I do this? It's running. Just ignore it then. Okay, let me set my phone on silent. This one is safe. This one was so scared. Kelsio, this one has been worried. So worried. Is Kelsio unharmed? Still in possession of wits? Tomokseo, and meddling ones as well. Why are these two here? These two came to rescue Kelsio. That Kelsio is safe fills this one with joy. Kumokseo, forgive this one. This one did not mean to run away from Little Solus. This one was just afraid. This one who lives at Little Solus was changing, becoming friendly with other ones. This one feared that these ones were forgetting who these ones are, like touch ones did. But this one was wrong. This one can see that now. Meddling, um, helpful one. This one is grateful. This one will return to Little Solus to be with Kumuxio and friendly ones. So what was that about summoning ones? Well, we should see to that. That should see to that. What say we return to Little Solus as well? I, for one, could do with a nice hot bath. And I think that will see this episode nicely to an end. It's kind of like a nice, perfect stopping point. For those of you on Twitch, do hang on. We are continuing. Um, oh, the compression is bad. Let me test out something. is the best downwards okay mm, I see compression still I'm gonna try a little trick which I saw somewhere see if this works. Gotta fly the right way too as well, I suppose. Yeah, sorry, I'm being a bit dis Distracted while I'm actually running this at the same time. Just want to see how bitrate affects. This one thought Klexio was lost forever. Helpful one saved Klexio. Now this one can be family again. Okay. This one knows many, known many walking ones, even many kind walking ones. But helpful one is kindest and strongest of all. Helpful one is a hero to this one. Helpful one will bring this ones and walking ones closer together. This one knows. This one would take helpful one to see elder one. But Elder One is... Elder One is... Okay, let's complete this for now. And this is where we'll leave off the recording for YouTube and those who are on stream, you know, do hang on. So here's a quick shameless plug. Check out the novel which I'm translating, uh, Everlasting Immortal Feminine at 
hostednovel.com. Also, along with it, Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation is released in full and free to read there as well. Oh, mouse speed increase. Okay. Well, then also, you know, subscribe, like, and ding the bells, and check out the things I have in the description below. So, with that, I'll bid you guys till next time. Adios.